Hey, this is Darren with Engadget. We're here at Apple's fall event where they introduced the iPhone 5 as well as a new iPod Touch. But this uses the same 4.1-inch display that the iPhone 5 has, 1136 by 640 resolution. Uses the same panorama mode here in the camera. 6.1 millimeters thick, 88 grams. And you'll notice an aluminum back. Really premium feel, a lot like the iPhone. It's like they're taking the iPod closer to the iPhone in terms of quality. A new iSight camera, 5 megapixels. Here at the bottom, this is a new, a new thing called the iPod iPod Touch Loop. This lets you put a loop as you see on here. Basically it's a camera strap. Obviously Apple is trying to gun for the point and shoot market here. Though no optical zoom uh, may be a bit disappointing. iOS 6.0 here. Passbook, one of the key features as well. Basically feels like a, a new iPhone, iPhone 5, but a bit thinner. Obviously without a cell radio whatsoever. They decided not to put a 4G module in here even for data, so you're still stuck using Wi-Fi even if you call on Siri. However, <laughs> what is good around here to eat? <laughs> so this is Siri being demoed on the new iPod Touch. The Wi-Fi is a bit crowded in here, I'm not quite sure if it will pick anything out. In the meanwhile, I'm going to give you a look at what this looks like beside, this is an iPhone 4S. You can see the thickness difference. Obviously we're dealing with the new dot connector, quite a bit smaller than the dot connector used on the new iPad and the iPhone 4S and 5. So we'll be putting this through its paces in the days to come. That's a nice uh, quick look. The new iPod Touch here at Apple's Fall Media event.